How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Six Days of Sacrifice. I'm going to move this window a little bit. There we go. All right, so let's uh, go talk to Janine. Let's go open the door. Uh, uh, Janine? You over here? You over here? Uh, hi. 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 What? What now? We have to get the door open. Quickly. Do you have Dr. Hottie's ID card? Oh, that's right. I have to show that to Trilby. I forgot about that. I just wanted to remember her by something. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Can I borrow it? Uh, sure. Thanks. Okay, well... Time to go show this to Trilby. That was quick progression. I'm not even using any kind of cheats. I kind of just... This is kind of an obvious given. Hello? Is it Trilby? Trilby? Hey, Trilby, I got something for you. Take a look at this picture. Who is this? Samantha Hottie. Do you know her? Hottie. Maybe there's something about her face. Could I meet her? She's dead. Hottie. Dead. I... Oh, Jesus! It wasn't me! I used... It used my hands, but it wasn't me. What? I'm so sorry, Philip. Philip Hardy. Five days a stranger. You didn't deserve it. Why are you doing this to us? Calm down. You're freaking me out. You're freaking out. I apologize. Some memories returned with a suddenness that caught me off guard. Nothing that answers why I am in this facility, however. Listen, I need your help. There's a door that needs two people to open it. I think that behind it we can both find the answers we seek. That seems a good a place to start, Any? Please lead the way. All right, we are here now. I'm back, Janine. Good, let's... Uh, ah! Wait, what? Stay away from me! What? Ah, uh, no! Trilly's the one you're afraid of? What on earth is the matter? It's him! Oh, God, I'm so frightened. Wait a second. Trilly is the one you're so scared of? Of course. Who else would it be, for God's sake? Madam, I don't even know who you are. Why are you so afraid of him? What? Oh, God, I didn't even... You're not giving me a chance to read it. I just look at him, and I feel like I'm going to faint. Janine, listen to me. He's not what the order... He's not with the order or anything. He's lost his memory. He won't hurt us. I promise. We need him if we're going to open this door. And once it's open, we'll be able to get in the hub. Yes, the hub. Uh, okay. Let's get these wheels turned. But that's not her. <laughs> Could you stand between me and him? Sure. So, I'm the one going in there. Of course I am. Why isn't it working? It worked last time. Maybe the fuse is blown. You've got to fix it. Please, I have to get in here. Okay, okay, I'll take care of it. Uh, what? I don't... Uh, okay. Let's go this way, I guess. Okay, so... I think... Uh, I don't know. In here, maybe? Check the desk. There aren't any drawers, and there's nothing more most of interest. How about the filing cabinet? This paper looks interesting. What? I'll add it to my journal. 
We live in the universe of technology or the scientific realm, where magic is very sparse. Our shadow is the universe of magic, or at the real realm, where magic and magical creatures are abundant. In olden times, it was easier for entities to travel between the realms, hence the old stories of fantastic creatures. The Druid Kabadath circa 55 BC created a bridging portal quite easily using a comparatively simple ritual. Since then, however, the background level of magic in the scientific realm has faded, and a ritual much larger in scope is required to transport any entity from one realm to the other. The ritual calls for the creation and sacrifice of a bridge, a living creature with ties to both realms, usually an entity born in the, sci the scientific realm, but later having their aspects imbued with magic. When all three of the bridge's aspects, body, mind, and soul, are annihilated in conjunction, echoes of weakness ripple through the membrane between the realms and a portal can be opened. Exactly how long the portal remains open depends on the puissance. I think that's how you say that. Puissance? It's, it's like you're saying croissant. Croissant. Of the bridge. The croissant of the bridge. Because <laughs> why not? Um, okay, maybe this will tell me. I have my guide here. Um, come up to the drawers to the right to the secure. Okay. So the doors to the security room, then. Father! Father, what are you doing? Father, no. Father! Father! Anybody know what I'm referencing? Okay. So we're in the security room now. What next? Um... Look at the papers in your inventory to get a staple. Open the fuse box. Okay. Um, okay, journal. What papers are we talking about here? Okay, I'm missing something. Let's go hunting for papers. Totally normal expression. Don't judge me. I am not an idiot. I am wise. There has... That hat is Trilby's. What is it doing in here? Okay, I... I don't know. I know I'm supposed to have some kind of paper, but I don't know where I get them. Where do I get the paper? I'm just gonna explore everything. Well, that wasn't it. 
Ah, well, we got 10 minutes to figure this out. Bow, 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 bow. It's a stack of documents, stapled papers. Can I take them? I don't think so. It's a thick stock of useless accounting reports. I'm not even sure why I picked it up. Wait, the staple may come in handy. Oh, right click. Okay. <laughs> I'll pry it out and throw documents away. <laughs> okay. Well, found what I needed. So, if I read that correctly, this staple will be useful. In the previous room, the security room. Let's open the security door. And use the staple on the fuse box, I think. I hope. I don't think so. What? Why? Wait, am I using it on the right thing? Open the fuse box and use your. St oh. Oh. Oh, I can already open it. Whoa. What the F? My computer is bugging. My computer is getting very buggy. Okay, let's not do that, shall we? I don't know how much of that was frozen. I apologize for how much was. My computer is being very buggy suddenly. It's like when I'm touching my computer, all of a sudden it happens. I need to get that checked. <laughs> Can I open the door? It won't open. There's a security lock requiring high clearance. That was wrong. So where do I go next then? Okay. So from what I've read, I have to go this way. Again. Where's Janine? She went on ahead. I tried to stop her, but she just ignored me. Come on. Okay, we're all going to Hello Trilby clones. What's this? Who are you? We are doormen. Our task is to stand here always. Did a woman pass through here? Yes. Why didn't you stop her? Our task is to only stand here. Well, that's... <laughs> Not to monitor who goes in or out. You two are crazy. Are these clones? What? Are these clones of me? Uh, yeah, I think so. Am I a clone? Yes. Ah. I did consider it as one of the likelier possibilities. It explains pretty much everything. Shall we continue? Uh... Sure. Are we going in? I'm scared. You don't know what to expect? I've seen what's in there on the security camera. It's just a bunch of ancient ruins. But I don't know. It's like what Janine talked about. A completely irrational fear. Janine may be in danger. I know. I know! Okay. Let's do this. What? This is not okay, Janine. Mr. Dakabe, Janine. What? What's going on? Where am I? Theo? Are we in the hub? I think so. But this isn't the ruin I saw. I know this place. 
John Defoe. This is where he lives. How do you know? Because this is where I destroyed him. Where I thought I destroyed him. Where I tied his spirit to his bones and set him ablaze. But that was just a movie. No, it... Look out! Oh, what the hell was that? That was Kabadath. Hey, John. N no, not you. No. What? Okay. I'm... What? Janine, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you understand, Theodore Dekabe? No. No, I do not understand. I don't understand why I'm being put through this nightmare. I don't understand the things I'm seeing. And I don't understand why you can't give me a simple straight answer. If straight answers are what you require, then I will accommodate you. The house you saw is called Devoe Manor. It does not, however, physically exist. It is a construct of Defoe's mind, a manifestation. So why the hell is it here? When John Defoe died, his mind and body went into his house. When Trilby burnt it down 200 years ago, he assumed that both were destroyed. But the infection of Defoe's mind clung to the ruins and to the very land on which it stood, even while his body burned away. The Order of the Blessed Agonies built the facility around it. Measures had to be taken. However, to ensure that the infection would not spread, what measures? Let me reiterate what I said. Why was Samantha Hartie employed to clone Trilby, of all people, multiple times? I haven't got a clue. Clues you have had plenty of. Think, Takabe. Why? Because John Defoe is scared of him. John Defoe is scared of him. Why do you say that? Back there, in the manor, as soon as Trilby was removed, everything started going berserk. Indeed. For a wraith, being crammed back inside your rotting bones is a traumatic and painful experience. To then be shot down and set alight, unable to die, to feel the constant agony of... Okay. Until then, Defoe feared his... Oh, good God! Afterwards, Trilby was in his mind the embodiment, and his mere presence acts as a ward against Defoe. Trilby was, from then on, utterly immune to Defoe's corrosive influence, although he never... God damn it. I'm not going to be able to read all this. If this was a movie, no one would understand what anybody is saying. The tall, thin man. The one with the coat. He's the head of the order, right? Correct. Well, more or less, yeah. Kabadath is. He's the creator. He's the founder of the order. <sighs> okay. You may not have long. What will happen? Defoe is a creature of monstrous violence. Samantha Hattie's fate, I fear, was only the beginning. Oh, God. Is Janine all right? Perhaps you should find out. God freaking ah! Janine. Okay. Kabadath. Hi. Go away. Janine, open the door. Kabadath. Janine, please, please open the door. Oh God. Ginny, for God's sake, open the damn door! Oh, God. I'm sorry, Theo. I know. I'm just so scared. I know. It keeps happening. I don't even remember going into the hub. You blocked out? I was waiting for you outside the door. Then I was... Nothing. And the next I knew, I was in that room. I'm scared out of my mind because there's something... Something's trying to take me over. Look at me, okay? Nothing's going to take you over. I'm not going to let that happen. How? I can feel it all around me. Watching. 
whispering in my ear all the time. Janine. Just hold me. Ah. Something tells me not to. I ignore it. Something tells me I'm taking advantage. I ignore it. Something tells me to stop when it starts hurt, starts to hurt. I ignore it. Evil raging outside our door, we, conf we comfort ourselves. Through love and pain we bond. By the sixth day, we would both be dead. Oh! Okay. Spoiler alert. Much? <laughs> day four. July 27, AD 2189. So, what is it now? Well, you're just gonna let him out? What are you doing? No! Um, what? What? Janine? What just happened? What even was that? I don't even... What? Ugh, my brain. Okay, well, I am going to leave this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. You got any suggestions for any other horror games, uh, pixel style horror games you'd like me to do, RPGs, whatever you got in mind, just let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any of the other games from the Chizo Mythos series, just click the box down over there. Or if you want to check the playlist for this game specifically, click the box across from my head here. And now my AC turns off. Wow. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys later. Bye.